Okay guys, so first and foremost before I start the video, I just want to apologize because if I do look ratchet right now, I haven't gotten a haircut in one week. But guess where I'm going in an hour and a half. Oh wait, actually in one hour. I'm going to get a haircut. So there's my apology for the video. I do look ratchet, but it's fine. We need to start this video. Right now, before I go to my barber shop, me and Jay Figs are on the way to Michael's. You call me by my name. Jay Figs. Today's my third game of the basketball season. We are 0 2, 0 wins, and 2 losses. Ask me how happy I am about that. I'm not fucking happy about that, so we need to win today. But, anyways, they have a rule in the league because if you haven't noticed, I don't have a number on the back of my jersey. When I bought it, it didn't have a number. And they have a rule if you don't have a number on your jersey by the third week, then that's a technical foul. And they give the other team three points to start the game. So, for example, if I show up with no number on the back of my jersey, not only do I get one technical foul, but they also give three points to the opposing team to start the game. And I don't want to be the reason that. The other team gets three points. So we are on the way to Michael's to buy a jersey number. First of all, I'm getting number zero. A lot of people think I like to wear number zero for Russell Westbrook. No, I don't. I just like to wear number zero because I like the number. If I were to wear one for a player, it would have been number one for D-Book, Evan Booker. Or I would have worn number two for Eric Bledsoe. I just wear number zero because I like it. That's always been my number. So I'm going to buy the number zero. And then are you going to iron it off for me? Okay, and then Jack is gonna iron it onto my jersey. So no technical foul for me today. And then after that, we are going to the barber shop. I'm hyped for that. And then later on tonight at 6 or 6.30, I have my game. So like I said, zero wins and two losses. <sighs> today we're playing the only undefeated team in the league. Today we're playing the only team who is 3-0. So that's not gonna be easy, but um, I just want to win. Barbershop, which is the best part of my day. The best thing of my life, actually, haircuts. Guys, just a couple of days ago, actually, one of my friends Snapchatted me, and he said, bro, have you checked the league website? And I said, no, I haven't checked the website. And he sent me a Snapchat picture of it, and I was actually the number one scorer in the league so far. So I'm averaging, I guess, 20 and a half points per game, which is number one in the league. And I mean, I'm proud of myself, of course, but when you look at what's next to the point leaders, which is the standings, my team is still 0-2, zero wins and two losses. So as proud as I am of myself for leading the league in scoring, which I had no idea I was doing, I'd still rather get wins. So honestly if you ask me i would trade every single point that i scored this season if we can get wins like i would rather average zero points and my team have two wins than average 20 points per game and have two losses that's just me but i don't know that was pretty cool i've never been number one in scoring in the league Guys, I'm honestly debating pretty hard. Should I go with number zero, which is what I've always been, or should I get number one for Devin Booker? I don't know. I might stick with number zero. That's what I was every time I played in the league. Guys, I'm hyped though. I've never been number one in scoring. This is the first time. Let's see if I can keep it up till the end of the season. That would be crazy for me. Yeah, I like that. Oh wait, those are glittery. Hmm. Guys, so we're having trouble finding a normal number zero. It might have been right here. Oh yeah, look, number Y, and it looks like they ran out. That's too small. Okay guys, so they might have ran out of the number that I was supposed to get which would suck because I have a haircut appointment and I still didn't finish editing my video so I don't really have time to go to another store and I, I don't want to give the other team three points and have my team blame me for that okay guys I might have to take the L and get the glitter one look this is iron on glitter numbers they even have an example look it's glittery <laughs> can't be the leading score of the league with a glittery number on my back, but I might have to take the L. I don't know. Guys, look, I had to go with the glittery one because they didn't have They have any... a zero, though. Yeah, they have a zero at least right, right there. But, but this is how... <laughs> yeah, they ran out. They ran out of any white ones or any black non-glittery ones. So 
I'm gonna have to take the L for the rest of the fucking season and wear a glittery jersey number. You could just say I did it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna just say Jackie forced me to wear that shit. Yeah, so. Say that I did it by accident. Like, you can't take it off now. How intimidating is that? The number one scorer in the league wearing a glittery number zero on the back of his jersey. <clears throat> okay, guys, so I just came back home. Finished up my video, I just uploaded it, and now I'm on my way to, look, I don't even have to say it. Why? <sighs> Fuck. Guys, I spilled my Pringles in my fucking car. Fuck. Look at this, they all fell in my car. Okay guys, well, now I have to do a fake smile. Now I'm on my way to the haircut. It would have been like this if I didn't sp spill my Pringles. Yay, on the way to my go get my haircut. But now it's like this. On the way to go get my haircut. Fuck, why'd I, why am I so clumsy? Okay guys, so I just finished up my Los Angeles Lakers NBA season preview slash prediction video. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I'm doing a season preview slash prediction video for every single team in the league, all 30 teams. I'm doing 30 different videos, and those videos are going to be up on my NBA channel. If that's something you are interested in, I'm going over all of what they did in the offseason, how I think they're going to do, whether I think they're going to make the playoffs or not. Like I said, not just for the LA Lakers. That's just the video I did right now, but I'm doing it for every single team in the league. So if that's something that interests you, check out my NBA channel. The link is in the description below. What you? I heard you talk shit about me. Guys, my girlfriend brought me food, but I had to finish editing my video. Um, what? <laughs> oh, shit. Look. Ooh. You guys are too handsome. I'm afraid to show it to people. Imagine the screen cracks because of how ugly me and Brian are. Guys, so my game is in less than two hours. It's like in an hour and a half. My girlfriend brought me food. Shout out, Jay Figs. Guys, if you wonder why I call her Jay Figs, it's because... That's what everyone calls you. Her last name's Figueroa, so Figs. Hmm, I don't know which one's mine. Did you bring me a taco? No. Oh shit, okay, I'll put that back. <laughs> okay guys, now we're before my game. We're gonna try to iron on this number. Bosley, do you know how to do it? Cause we're struggling to know how to do this. I don't know why the instructions are so complicated on the back of the numbers, but it shouldn't be this hard, look. Look, there's literally like 12 steps. Look at this. Iron-on transfer instructions. Pre-wash, pre-heat. Oh wait, the iron's right there. We don't have, we don't even have an ironing board here. Baza, can you help please? Wait, yeah, I need to find my, my gas. Can you try this one first? I have an idea. Since we don't have an iron board, can you just iron it on my back? Yeah. You could honestly I don't even need to wear a jersey just iron the fucking number on my back. I'm so skinny the number would probably go through you don't even need an iron board Sadly, I'm this skinny Bosley. Bosley. Can you give me some of your weight, please? I'll take five pounds off your hands Babe, would that be a good trade? Cuz I'm too skinny and Bosley's too fat Bosley. We could trade I swear I'll make that trade I want five or ten of your pounds Stop doing that. Don't do that. Okay, wait, what What are you doing right now? What's the process now? Apparently you have to iron this first, so let's iron it. Whatever section you're gonna do. Bosley, I feel you, like, right behind me. I don't like it. Now he's onto your feet. <laughs> Bosley! He said you stink. Wait, prediction time. You know the rules. Win or lose, how many points, and then how many points I score. I'm sorry, but you... Yeah, no, we're playing. Zero, guys, lose. we're playing the only team that's 3 and 0. 3 wins wow. and 0 losses. I swear. You do that? So we're 0 and 2, 0 wins and 2 losses and that team is 3 and 0, number I 1 team in the league. 25. 25? Yeah. 
Okay. Wait, you predicted mine right last time. You said 22, I swear. Oh, really? Yeah, so you said I'm going to score 25. And yeah. you said we're going to lose by how much? We're playing the best team in the league. You're going to lose by 8 points most. Okay, lose by 8 and I'm going to score 25. Points. You put pressure on me, babe. Uh, New position on this one. Just let me know. Right yeah, that's fine, honestly. I don't care if it's not too centered. Let's mm -hmm. do no. this. Count. Hey, I wanted you to iron the number on my back. Really? Hey, I want to do it. Mm. Guys, I'm actually the world's best ironer. That's my award for the streamies, the ironer of the year. <laughs> what? Why is it what? Wait, did you peel anything off the thing? Was I supposed to? Yes. Okay, guys, well, that was a fail from the both of us, so we have to try again. Round two. Okay, hold on. It's not ironed on. Hold on, guys. No. Okay, guys, I was trying to iron it on so it can show up white because I didn't want the glitter to show, as you guys can tell. But it's not ironing on on the white side, so we have to do it the glitter it's side. Iron on on this side. Sadly. <laughs> guys, I would help her, but I have a history of every single thing I ever touch or try to do just ends up being a fail. That's why my dad never lets me help him around the house. Okay, guys, I need to go get ready for my game. The glittery, let's see if glittery Browatis is good luck. Like I've said a million times, maybe I haven't said it in this video, but I've said it a million times in all my other basketball videos. I don't like to lose. I hate when my team loses. Like I could lose in life. I could lose whatever matters in life, but I hate losing in basketball. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Yeah, guys, I just like, I don't know what it is. The second I step on the basketball court, it's like a completely different, I'm like a completely different person. I just don't like to lose. I don't know how many times I could repeat that. I do not like to lose basketball games. I play to win. I like to win basketball games and that hasn't happened this season. Zero wins and two losses. And now, of course, we play the best team in the league. So I wonder how this is going to go. I just need some help from my teammates, honestly. I need it. Last game, we scored 31 points, and I scored 22 out of 31. That's not okay. I need some help. Okay, guys, so for everybody asking, because I have a lot of, not only a lot of you guys, subscribers, supporters asking me to play, but I have a lot of friends that watch my videos that are asking me to play because after watching my past couple games, they said that I need help from my teammates. Well, the thing about that, I would love to invite one of you guys or more to play with us because, like I said, I do need help, but it's not my team. So that's one problem. I can't bring people on myself. It's not my team. And the other problem is the roster is already filled. There's already nine players, so there's no room for more people. I would love to invite some of my friends to play, but that's not the case. First game, I scored 19 out of my team's 32 points. The second game, I scored 22 out of 31. So I'm, I'm scoring a lot of my team's points. And a lot of people are commenting, oh, you need so much help from your team they need to help you out i just need some help from like i just need a little bit of help because even though my team has looked very bad and none of them are scoring too much we've only been losing by like six or seven points so look guys i'm averaging 20 and a half points per game and guess who the next leading scorer on my team is he's averaging four points per game four so if i can just get someone to give me like I don't know, eight or nine points a game, not four, then that would be fine. Like, even though my team is playing really bad, we're not getting blown out. We're losing close games. So I don't need someone to score like 30 or 40 points. I just need someone to score like 10. Could you believe that? And the next person right behind me averages four points a game. That balance is way too off. Anyways, I've noticed that I play basketball way better when I'm pissed. So like, just like for example, last week when the dude was pissing me off, I scored 22 points. I made five three pointers. I just play better when I'm pissed off. Even at the gym, when someone pisses me off or in general, like if I get a bad grade in school or when the Suns lose or like, I just get, I just get mad. When I go to play basketball, for some reason I play better. It's like I take out my anger or emotion. So I told Jackie, I was like, I told my girlfriend, I was like, just, just 
fucking make me mad. I don't know, start an argument, go cheat on me or something. Do something to get me mad. So, um, we'll see. Yeah, guys, that's actually a true story. If you play your favorite sport when you're mad, for whatever reason, you play so much better. So, I need to get mad before this game. Maybe I should just watch a Suns game from last year to get mad. Possibly one of the buzzer beaters we've lost. Guys, I just got this text from my teammate, and I quote, he literally just texted me saying, hey, bro, we know we're not good. I know you scored 22 points out of 31 last game, but we need you to do more. And I was going to reply. I was going to be like, what do you mean do more? Like, But he literally just texted me. He's like, bro, he pretty much told me just take over the game. He told me he said that they wanted to make the playoffs and they know they're not good enough to win games on their own. So he literally told me like, just just win this game for us so i literally have so much pressure because not every team makes the playoffs so if we lose another game and we go to zero and three it's going to be really hard to make the playoffs so he pretty much texted me and said bro you're the best player on the team we know we're not that good so just get this win for us and ah so much pressure <laughs> The cereal looks nice. Are you kidding me? No, it's because we couldn't find a number that fast. Baby, you look hot. Look, it's glitter. You can't tell though. Where'd you get your flannel? My what? Your flannel. My closet. Oh, like shop. Forever 21. Who's? Who's? I'm sorry. Stephanie, if you say that looks like you, I'm gonna cut your ass. <laughs> and the legs look like this. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I don't know where you're going, but you just go. <laughs> He's so funny to watch.
20 points. I don't know. I'm confused. On the left, they score on the right. Woo! I want my, I want him to throw hands. pushed him out of the way so now he got a foul.
24 with one minute. Now he knows what to do. Gash on my head. I still haven't seen it yet. Wait. Guys, look, he refuses. I'm pretty sure you need. Babe, it's bleeding. Is it? Still. I'm not going to the doctor's because I'm not getting stitches. There's a rule that if you bleed, you have to leave the game. So I was trying to hide my blood from the refs and I hid it for a the couple guys minutes. Next to us, huh? Yeah, I know. And then they caught it. I told my girlfriend, I was like, I was like, look, don't say anything. And then they caught it. Wait, where is it even bleeding? Right there, right there. The guy fucking dug his teeth into my head, but hey, we got the win, so you could bash my head every single day. Wait, I need to cover it. He dug his teeth. He dug his teeth. Guys, I had 22 points. My team had 28 and I had 22. I don't know how the hell we won. Guys, I'm so hyped. We won. Finally, of course we beat the undefeated team. That was a close. Guys, say what's up to my friend Aaron. We won. No, what do you want? He's the one that sent me a picture of my leading score. I was like, what is this? He's like, look, you're leading the league. Look, <laughs> so I got nice. a gash in my head. Oh, shit. He won, though. I don't know. Someone dug his teeth or, like, what's my fucking game on this? Man, I'm a warrior. What time's your game? Uh, all right, bro. Good luck. Yeah, guys, there's, like, a rule that if you bleed, obviously, you have to leave the court for obvious reasons. And so I, I felt it, like, drip. And I looked at my girlfriend, I was like, uh-uh, oh shit, I'm gonna sell. And then like after a couple minutes, <laughs> I was just trying to wipe it with my jersey and then the ref saw, he's like, hey, 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 go wipe your head. And I was like, all right, fam. Guys, we won. I'm so hyped. Guys, isn't that ridiculous though? I had 22 points and the rest of my team had six. That is not okay, but I don't care because we got the win, so I'm happy. Hopefully I don't need stitches because I do not want to go to the doctors, but we good. Guys, okay, at first when it happened and like a little bit after, I didn't even feel anything, like it didn't hurt. Maybe it was the adrenaline because I was trying to win the game. But now that like I'm on driving back home, this shit fucking hurts. Like my head is throbbing and there's like blood keeps dripping down. I'm gonna try to tame the blood when I get home, but if it doesn't stop bleeding, obviously I have to go. Maybe get stitches. I asked the ref if he thought I needed stitches. He said he doesn't think so, but I should get it checked out. So we'll see what to do. But yeah, when I was playing, like after it happened, my girlfriend was like, oh my God, babe. And like, I didn't even feel the pain because you know when like your adrenaline rush is just too high, you know, it was a close game and I just wanted to keep playing. So I didn't feel the pain, but then now it fucking hurts. It fucking hurts really bad. So. We'll see what to do about this. But anyways, guys, I really don't care because we got the win. Finally, we beat that undefeated team. Our defense, honestly, look, my team isn't that good on offense, obviously, as you guys have seen from these first three games. But I'm going to give them credit for their defense because holding the only undefeated team in the league to under 30 points for a whole game, that's amazing. So shout out to my team for playing good D. Honestly, if they're going to play defense like that, I don't mind. Uh carrying the team on offense guys you know what i feel like remember when lebron took that trash cleveland cavaliers team to the finals when they got killed by the spurs he had Danielle Mar marshall zedruna silgalski that team i feel like lebron on that team except lebron is 300 times 300 million times the player i'll ever be but that's what i feel like and honestly i'm up for the challenge my teammate last week told me you know what he said you know what we know we just picked you up one day before the season. We know you've never played with any of these guys. We know you're new to the team, but you're our star player. You're going to be a full-time starter, and we want you to take over and win games for, for us. And 
And then today he texted me before the game and he told me, he said, hey, I want you to win this game for us and I am up for the challenge. Honestly, I'm a competitor. I love to win and I don't care how bad or how sucky my teammates are. I'm going to play to win every single game. So one win and two losses, but I feel like this win is going to get us going. So shout out to my teammates. I enjoy playing today. Hospital. Why? Because look at your blood. You're bleeding. <laughs> I know, but it doesn't hurt. I no, half a Many one Anna. Mom, I don't have a concussion. No, it actually like, cause I what ran in, I ran into this guy's teeth, and then Ooh. I know, and then I didn't even know it was bleeding. Then I found out it was bleeding, but I remember that there was a rule. Um, if like if you bleed you have to sit out because you can't get blood obviously so I was trying to hide the blood from the refs and then they yeah. caught it after a couple minutes so they made me wipe it but we won you won? yeah okay. how many how many you score? 22 what? yeah I don't oh, know no. how we won mom I had 22 and then the total we had was 28 it hurts but I'm just gonna try to stop the bleeding because I don't want to go to the doctor no in fact I do my you have to yeah, well, I know. I'm going to try to shower right now. Okay. You got to love the overprotective mother, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I love my mom. She's so overprotective. She treats me like I'm two years old, but honestly, I love it. That just shows how much she cares for me. A lot of people say, oh, your mom still babies you, whatever. I don't care. I love it. I'm a mama's boy. That's how my first tattoo was my mom and dad's name in their language. Dad, we won. And we were playing the undefeated team, the only team that was 3 0. Bosley, we won. Give me five. Give me five. How much you guys won by? By four. Oh, yeah? Yeah, when we win. Bosley, you want to join the team and play? You want to go to the gym and play basketball? Yeah, you can play. What do you want to play? Point guard? Or you want to play. No, you can play center because you're fat, so you can guard the middle. No? Guys, yeah, this, so this is my first time seeing it in the mirror. It's a small gash, but usually the small ones are the worst ones. But, I got the blood on my jersey. That's how the refs caught it. They said it was dripping down, and I was like, fuck. But you know what happened? We won, so I don't care about any blood or any of that shit. Can we just keep Obama for four more years, honestly? What do we need Hillary or Trump for? Guys, my girlfriend says she's gonna be my personal doctor after I shower. I'm Meredith Gray. Who are you? Who? Meredith. Meredith, Meredith Gray. Gray. Guys, yeah. I've never seen Gray's Anatomy because one time Jackie was watching it. That she started crying. fucking crying and I was like, fuck, I'm <laughs> this not. This when we first started dating. Yeah. I didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. Was like, this is like before we had kissed or anything. So I was like, wait, do I like put my arm around her or why that the was fuck? That my hit. And he still didn't fucking kiss. I was like, I mean, I don't get why you're crying. It's not a Suns game. Like if the Suns were losing, I understand why you cry. But Grey's Anatomy. No, guys, I just thought about it. This is when she knew I was crazy. I was watching the Suns and Lakers game at her house, and she had never watched a Suns game with me. And Brandon Knight crossed up Mauricio Huertas, and I fucking jumped up. I was like, oh, my God. And she was like, what, what? Yeah, I was like, you don't understand. And then now, 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 now she's literally the one who's counting down for NBA season. She was literally naming all the Suns players to me, and yesterday she tweeted, can't wait for the NBA season to start. What a changed woman. No, Jackie now actually knows a lot about basketball after watching with me. But anyways, who? I'm so lucky I got my haircut today because imagine if I had to get a haircut tomorrow or like imagine if I didn't get a haircut today and I had one scheduled like tomorrow the next day with this gash. Could you imagine the razor going like this on my gash? So good thing I got it out the way today because you know me, even if I had to get stitches or if it kept bleeding, if I had a haircut appointment tomorrow, I would still go. I wouldn't turn it down. Stitches get stitches. What's that? You Who's are a the snitch. snitch in uh, D'Lo. Yeah. D'Angelo Russell. And, you know, so. Guys, she said I get a foot massage, ice, and she's bringing me pizza. And she also said, and you know. So. Ooh. Sir, the person who bashed my head and dug his teeth in, could you please do this every week, please? Every week? Every day, I mean. Right, so I think we have a problem with this. So I thought it was like dumb bleeding. I hopped in the shower and like obviously it burned when I put shampoo, but I was like, okay, it's dumb bleeding. Then I get the towel to wipe my hair and look, it's 
clearly not done bleeding and it's been like i'd say like two hours since it happened so that's obviously not a good sign i thought it was done i was wiping my head lightly because i was like okay it still hurts but it's not bleeding we're sending a picture to jackie's mom because your mom's a nurse her mom's a nurse so i don't know this isn't good i mean it doesn't yeah, honestly, hurt that bad really yeah i can already tell i would tell you it doesn't hurt that bad but obviously the still bleeding by now is not good it just literally guys did i do michael like it's open i swear guys did i do michael jordan flu game fucking bash my head bleeding down my head might need stitches and i stayed in the game and still won that's yeah, all that I'm gonna have to guys i'm just happy my haircut still looks fresh honestly <laughs> look taper is still nice the fade is still nice but no that was michael can you move Michael Jordan flu game and we won but no honestly this isn't funny guys because I don't want to go to the doctors okay. so the blood's still coming so it's time for some rubbing alcohol this is going to be the worst day of my life let me do it for you okay fine First I'm ready for the burn right. okay guys I'm ready for the burn do you have anything Just to go. squish? squish? no you can squish my ass while I do yes okay wait you're gonna... put more Oh, I'm just bleeding so much. Mm -mm -mm. This is how you treat a man so that he doesn't cry. Nobody's crying, but it does help that I'm squishing your ass. Does that hurt? Just go. It feels good when my hand is here. Thanks, Nurse Jackie. Guys, Jackie actually just got caught murdering 11 people and hiding them in her home. Another one. Imagine I have a fucking concussion and I'm just laughing and all that. Wait, that's bad. You're not supposed to sleep. Do you feel weird? No, I feel fine. I'm serious. I must be concussed though, because I'm not feeling the rubbing alcohol. Yuck, your breath. I'm just joking. I know, I'm just joking. Wait, show them. Guys, my hair, I'm missing a chunk of hair. Fuck, now I'm pissed. No, hold on, now I'm pissed. <laughs> Wait, you actually are, yeah. <sighs> Wait, let me Look, show you. I said, I don't care if I get a concussion, I don't care how bad it hurts, as long as my taper and my fade is still fresh, well, it's not anymore. It turns out I'm missing a fucking chunk of hair. <clears throat> You're like your dad. I'm sorry, baby. Look, this is, look, put the rubbing alcohol. This is me when I'm not touching Jackie's ass. Ow, ow, ow. And then this is me when I'm grabbing it. Guys, look how caring Bosley is. Honestly, Bosley might be the one with the concussion. He looks out. Oh, never mind. Bosley, hey. Dad, I didn't even wake him up. He just woke up by himself. My dad hates when I wake him up. Bosley, dad, I didn't even wake him up. Come back, come back. Bosley, go back to sleep. Wrong. Oh, fine. Okay, Bosley, go on the couch. Go. Go back on the couch. Go. Ron's gonna kill me. Go. Go. Go on the couch. Go. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! Guys, Jack is making me pizza. Wait, babe. I said I want to make it. What? Ooh, I get soda? Yes. How can it still be bleeding? It's been like two and a half hours. Yeah, it's still bleeding. I'm not saying No. Yeah, as long as there's no stitches, we good. I hear it sizzling. Pizza. Do you want pizza? <laughs> Guys, she's still on her diet. Okay. Fuck, what, who was the guy that fucking bit me? Bugs Bunny? Yeah, Fuck. That was huge. Okay, okay. I know, of course it was the biggest guy on the team. Ranch? Where is it? Mm -hmm. Please. Guys, is my girlfriend my girlfriend or my nurse? Uh-oh. Oh, there's Bruce Bochi. Guys, you know Bochi used to be the manager for the Padres? My family's Padre fans, obviously, San Diego. Look. Cubs have two on, no outs, top of the ninth. This is an elimination game for the Giants. Guys, last night I watched the 13 inning game that the Giants ended up winning. It was going on till almost midnight. I'm not really a huge baseball fan, but I watch I watch playoff baseball. I don't mind. I don't hate baseball. Bro, you just almost gave up the game. What are you doing this for? 
yeah, I don't mind watching. I don't hate baseball. Like a lot of people think it's boring and it's like not interesting. I don't I don't think that way. I mean, I don't watch it religiously, obviously, but I don't hate it though. Uh-oh. Two runners on. Both in scoring position. A single likely ties the game. A home run gives them the lead. Let's see what happens. Oh, what Guys. Look at my girlfriend continuing on with her diet. Good job. I have a pizza right here and she has her salad and fish. I Guys, know, shout, shout out. Shout out to your mom for making the salad. No, shout out to friends. my girlfriend. Guys, everybody needs a girlfriend like this taking care of me while I'm, I don't know. What do you call this? Oh, 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 my God. Tie game. Dad. Babe, I f what? Down. Okay, hold on. I need to see my dad's reaction. Oh my God, my dad's rooting for the Giants because we're in California. They're a California team. Oh, Bosley, what was it? Five two going five into two nine. Wow. Wow. Guys, no. Shout out to my girlfriend. Everybody needs a girlfriend like her, taking care of me, bringing me food. She promised me a foot massage. Let's not for let's not forget about that. But yeah, shout out to her. And she has curfew because her mom is Hispanic and a little bit crazy, but we still love her. But she's staying late so that she could take care of me. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Oh my god, the flash is so bright. Yeah, I, I'm getting a headache. Hey. Now we switch. Mm -hmm. Thanks. The Giants are down to their final two outs, babe. Babe, <laughs> why don't you like baseball? Because it was the first thing I've ever watched since I came to this country and the Padres sucked. <laughs> they still do, sadly. Okay, well, they really were really bad. And honestly, like, I think the only thing I could remember is the fact that my sister threw my hot dog on the floor. So we were fighting. Yeah, it's just been like three hours now and it's still bleeding i might have to go it's still bleeding and i just looked it up and it said that if it was just a minor cut or something small that it should have stopped bleeding within 15 to 45 minutes and like i said it has been much longer than that so now i'm just getting mad because i'm tired i want to go to sleep but it obviously keeps bleeding tomorrow i probably can't play basketball now and i was planning on going to the gym to play basketball but I probably shouldn't play right now. <clears throat> I'm mad. Guys, I just told my girlfriend now, because my girlfriend said, I don't like that you kept playing after that happened to your head. Like she was saying, I should have sat out. But we only had five players on the team today. So if I had to come out, if I sat out because of what happened, we would have only had four, meaning we would have had to forfeit. So I said, no way, I'm playing. I did not want to forfeit the game. So I played and then we ended up winning. Thankfully. Okay guys, so it's like 3.20 a.m. I just woke up, I went to the bathroom so I could kind of clean it off and the bleeding has almost stopped completely. There was barely any blood and honestly that might just be the dried up blood. So the bleeding is almost completely done. I do feel a little lightheaded. Um, but I'm not sure if that's from just me being tired or whatever, but I might go get it checked out. When I wake up fully for um, an infection, I don't know if where the hell that guy's mouth has been. Because like I said, it was his teeth, not his elbows. So I might want to get it checked out for an infection. But one last time before I go back to sleep, just shout out to my girlfriend, man. She she always comes through no matter like whether I'm sick or she just she every time I think I've seen the best of my girlfriend, she just always finds more ways to impress me like. I don't know. Shout out to her mom for raising her or shout out to who I don't know. She just she's an amazing person and um I love my girlfriend. Every time I think, okay, like I've seen the best of her, which is already good enough, she just always she does more and more and more. She's been texting me, staying up with me, trying to call me, and I'm just like, babe, I'm fine, like go to sleep and she's just like, No, I don't like blah blah blah. So shout out to her, man. She's She's amazing, but it's time for me to go back to sleep. I just started reading some things and my friend started texting me like, you need to get it checked for an infection. Like, like the cut isn't that big, but what if the dude was, I don't want to say it to be mean, but what if the dude was like dirty? I don't want, 
hit like because it was an open cut so i don't want any germs or anything okay speaking of all this infection and the guy being dirty and now i'm paranoid and i'm gonna go put some more rubbing alcohol on it hi boswell stay asleep don't wake up